Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So Christmas has come and gone yet again, and I've had a number of questions from viewers about Christmas lights. Are they a scrappable item? Can you upgrade their value? What do you do with the light bulbs? Uh, can you strip the wire to make it number two clean copper? So gonna answer those questions. The great thing about Christmas lights is that they can be 100% scrappable, and you will find them often on garbage day. At the start of Christmas season, people are taking them out of storage. Uh, they find that they don't work, they're old, uh, they want a new model. You can also find them after season. It's been four weeks now after Christmas and I am still finding them now. They come in all different styles, different strand types, different thickness of wire. And what I have behind me is actually an experiment whereby I took 10 pounds of Christmas lights factored in the price of them whole, uh, see if I can upgrade them, compare the prices there to answer these questions. So the first thing I do wanna say is before you do scrap them, check if they work. I have found a number of spools that work perfectly fine. I've donated a number of them to places like Goodwill. I have also sold some of them to uh, or on yard sales for a higher value. So definitely better options uh, than going to the landfill for sure and you know other options if you are not willing to take them to the scrapyard. These can be, as I said, 100% scrappable. If I was to take them like this, I have actually called three different scrapyards, two in Sarnia, Ontario. The first place was willing to give me nine cents a pound for these. The other place was willing to give me 20 cents a pound. And in London, Ontario at Zubik Scrap Metal, they will pay 30 cents a pound for Christmas lights whole and intact like this. So that is still a great price. And at 10 pounds here, if I was to bring this in, I'm obviously gonna get $3 for this. So that is a good price. But the nice thing about Christmas lights is that they are an easy item to upgrade. If I was to take this strand as is and just actually cut off the bulb like this, I am gonna get what we call 60% appliance wire for this cord. And a scrapyard actually with appliance wire looks at two things. They look at copper to plastic ratio and copper recovery. This wire here has two individual strands of copper. They have one layer of plastic on it. So this right here is gonna be classified as 60% appliance wire. Another model I have here some of them will actually be just a strand like this. Okay, there too is two strands. It was straight, uh, so 60% appliance wire. And currently at Zubix, they are paying $2.19 a pound for this wire. The only drawback I will say, however, is to get that price, you do have to cut off the light bulbs. And all three of the scrap yards, when I called to ask if they will buy the light bulbs with their holders like this, Unfortunately, all of them have said there's not enough metal recovery in there. So these unfortunately are going to go into the landfill. Uh, I have looked a little bit at the inside of them. You can see if I remove the bulb, some of the bulbs I've actually used on different strands to replace to try and keep them out of the landfill. But inside of them, there is a little bit of brass. I have opened one of them for the sake of this video just to cut the plastic to show you that little bit of brass. Uh, that you have there. That brass is going for $3 a pound, but unfortunately it is too time consuming for me. There's not enough value in the brass there. So unfortunately these light bulb and holders are going to go into the garbage. But from this experiment, I was able to get five pounds, nine ounces of 60% appliance wire. I do also want to make sure I mention that I do remove the plug ends here. This copper I will break off and I will put this into my brass at $3 a pound. You can see there are different styles. Some of them have the yellow brass, some of them have the coating on it. You will put these all in the same brass. There is no difference in um, category. So at $3 a pound, these brass plugins I will definitely remove. But all of this wire that I got, as I said, five pounds, nine ounces at $2.19 a pound works out to be $12.18 for it. And if I was to compare that from whole, I made $9.18 from upgrading it. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes. 
Uh, I could have done it in less time, but I was watching the football. So very easy to do, but definitely something that you want to upgrade to the 60% appliance wire. And definitely while I'm on the topic, definitely call around different scrap yards to compare prices. Um, so even in the same area, going from, you know, your 20 cents to 9 cents, just from, you know, the same relative area for just whole light bulbs, definitely want to make the drive to the higher value. Uh, it will also depend, um, someone asked me about the thickness of the wire. Even these, you can compare that. This wire is thinner, but this too, even though it is thinner, does have the copper inside of it. And this too is going to give me my 60% value. So definitely a good thing to upgrade. I will mention in the last question that I had, is this worth stripping to get the number two copper out of it? Number two copper right now is going for $4.43 a pound. But unfortunately, given the thickness of these strands, you are actually, in my opinion, going to lose money and time stripping this. There is not enough copper recovery in there. You will lose a lot of weight from the coating. This wire, given the thickness of this and the flim, 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 sorry, flimsiness, won't even actually go into my wire stripper. So that would mean I'd have to do it by hand and not worth it for me. So definitely first step, if you do not have a scrapyard around you, these as is are 100% scrappable. I strongly suggest upgrading it, getting that 60% appliance wire as is. Great for the monetary advantage. Unfortunate drawback, however, you do have a little bit of waste to go into the landfill. Um, your brass plugins, for sure, get that copper or brass, sorry, out of that. And lastly, no, in my opinion, they are not worth stripping these. So hopefully that answered those questions. A short video, but hopefully informative. And, uh, you know, look forward to answering the questions that I'm getting from these uh, viewers. Please comment down below. Look forward to working with the scrapping community in this upcoming year. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.